acquittal. Well, whether there was a constructive amendment to the indictment is a complicated question. It wasn't one that I understood us to take. But put, putting that aside, if in a case there is no objection to a jury instruction, it turns out that the jury instruction is erroneous, maybe even uh, omits an essential element of the offense, mm -hmm. but the evidence is sufficient to support, uh, or arguably sufficient to uh, support conviction under a proper interpretation of the statute. And the argument that's made on appeal is that the defendant is entitled to a judgment of acquittal. Is that person entitled to a judgment of acquittal? Uh, Justice Alito, ordinarily not, but th that would presuppose a situation in which the government proceeded on its theory and didn't actually abandon that theory in prior litigation so that as a matter of whether you call it forfeiture, waiver, uh, invited error, whatever you want to call it, the government forewent the theory that it is now urging upon the court. And so once that is out of the case, I think you have to ask the question whether the evidence that was introduced to prove the crime charged satisfy the elements of that crime. And the government can't come up on appeal as it has done here for the first time in this court and said, since this is a sufficiency case, we get to completely reinvent the theory. We get to substitute in a new one for the defective one that the Second Circuit used. And the only question that we ask is whether the evidence was sufficient under that theory. And we can ask the court to announce this new theory for the first time in this case. If that were true, the government would have been able to defend the insider trading conviction in Chiarella by saying, decide the misappropriation doctrine. After all, it turned out to be a valid theory, and there were a couple of justices in the dissent who thought it was a valid theory even in that case. But the court said, no, you cannot affirm a criminal conviction on a basis of a theory not given to the jury. And even if that doesn't hold true in every single case, and I think Justice Alito, Nader, and cases like that suggest that there can be harmless error, it should hold true in a case like this where the government's new theory uh, emerges only in its merits briefing in this court and was abandoned by uh, amendments to the indictment. But Counsel, I know you're assuming, I'm sorry, no, you didn't know finish. Uh, well, this was a different point, but. Uh, 